Hi you guys, my name is Tamika. This is my channel Tamika Flooded and I'm so excited because today I'm doing the rapid fire book tag. Yeah. And today's lipstick is brought to you by <laughs> Milani. Um, just in case someone asks. And the color is 67 Matte Confident. This is on my lips today. I was tagged by Kara's Curiosity and this originally was created by Girl Reading. Let's get into the tag. Ebook versus physical book, physical book. Paperback versus hardback. If there is um, an actual decoration on inside of you know the cover and on the front of the cover of the hardback, I'll go for the hardback all day. However, if it's not, it's a waste of money and you should just get the paperback. <laughs> online versus in-store book shopping i always do in-store book shopping i use online to kind of like look up reviews but not for shopping trilogies versus series i wish they would have had duology because i would have preferred duology but i really really like series over trilogies it's like you it's almost never failed there's gonna be one or two of those books that are just gonna suck vagina every time in the trilogy but I always love a series I always love a series it's like it's such an in-depth world you get all the feels you need and it's great so series heroes versus villains villains I love them I just love villains or I like the anti-hero as well like I need you to be like kind of a douche and a horrible human being for me to like relate to you <laughs> To get myself right a book you want everyone to read mm, off the top of my head i'm gonna say it it by stephen king is one of the greatest books i read and this year because i read it this year and i loved it and i want you guys to like read it and tell me what you think if you already read it let's talk about it one of my favorite books of all time everyone should read it it's bananas I recommend an underrated book hmm, this one's hard because i really don't know what would be considered um underrated but I'm gonna go with Addicted by Zane. Not a lot of people talk about it. Yes, there was a movie made by it, but I feel like in this circle today, not a lot of people know about um, Addicted by Zane and the movie is completely different from the book. So I highly recommend that you read that book. The last book you finish. The last book I finished was a reread and that was um, Saba Tahir, Ember in the Ashes. And I completely loved rereading it because I completely forgot what happened. I plan on continuing on with that to go along with this October beast of a TBR that I got going on, right? Also completed and reading it for the first time was Girl on the Train, which I'm gonna read is, um, which I'm gonna watch the movie as soon as it come out. I, I'm not gonna tell you I felt about the book yet. Not yet. <laughs> you trying to get me to tell you. The last book you bought. The last book that I bought, I'm um, actually bought three books at the same time. I bought um, The Girl with All the Gifts, The Unbecoming of Marie Dreyer, Mara, 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 I don't know. Pfft, I don't know. And the last book was Confessed by Colleen Hoover. Never read any of her books. Still haven't read it yet. Um, I'm deciding if I want to read Confess and then read Ugly Love or just go ahead and read Ugly Love and then read Confess. I don't know. Someone tell me down below. The weirdest thing you've ever used is a bookmark. I've used toilet tissue or tampon wrapper. Use books, yes or no? Yes, obviously. Top three favorite genres. I am going to say high fantasy, horror, and science fictionally supernatural. That's one word, science fictionally supernatural. Uh, that is a genre I made up. Borrow or buy? Buy, obviously. Characters or plot? Uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna go with characters because that's who I tend to latch on to um, the most. Out of all the stories, I'm gonna remember the character and when I'm talking about the story, I'm talking about it from what happens to the character. So, character. Character. Longer short books. Long books, actually. I like big books and I cannot lie. You strike. Everybody says that. But seriously, do I? I like bigger books. They seem to explain everything that I want to know. Shorter books, you kind of get left with that. But I wonder about this, though. Long chapters, short chapters, short chapters. Because I read by chapter, not really by page. And so I like for the chapter to, like, be done. So that when I am done reading, I can feel complete. Name the first three books you can think of. Illuminate, It, 
The Diviners. <laughs> books that make you laugh or cry, laugh. Because a book has never made me cry. I would love a book to make me cry, but a book has never made me cry. I only <laughs> all day long. <laughs> that was so bad. Our world or the fictional world, <laughs> fictional world. <laughs> Have you seen the news? Audiobooks, yes or no? Yes, obviously. Do you ever judge a book by its cover? Yes. Yes. Sorry, I had to um, change location. I started losing too much sun. But moving on, um, book to movie or movie to TV adaptation. If it is three um, books and less, I do book to movie. Um, anything over three books, let's just go ahead and make it a TV show because we have enough material to do that with. And we'll make the viewers happy who love that series because we can be more in detail with the TV show. So. Um, if we can, let's, let's make it a TV show adaptation. A movie or a TV show you preferred over the book? I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm not gonna read Game of Thrones. Just not gonna happen. Not this girl, not anytime soon. Um, maybe ever is, is a strong phrase to use or word, but not anytime soon do I ever plan on reading Game of Thrones. I think it's way too massive. I hear it's getting bigger and bigger. And I'm behind on the show. But I do like the show. But I'm behind on the show. So I can just imagine what it's going to feel like trying to get into that massive monster of a series. So yeah, I'm going to go have to say with I would rather just sit down and watch the TV show over reading any of the books from Game of Thrones. Or A Song of Fire and Ice. I think, isn't that what the series is actually called? Not Game of Thrones? Exactly. That's why I shouldn't be reading it. Series or standalones? I'm gonna have to say again, I love a good standalone, but standalones leave you with that. Man, I really want a little bit more. So I'm gonna have to go with series. I prefer multiple books over just one book. Definitely based on the fact that I love high fantasy and I love, you know, science fictionally supernatural. That is the end of the tag. I enjoy doing that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to um, tag some people. If I do, I'm gonna link them down below. And I will see y'all in the next video. I love you guys, and you stay wonderfully awesome. Bye. This bug so good. Don't we not drink? Let's drink the other one. And we're back with the next drink. Next book that I read.